Too many geology, too many geology. Aloha, young people. The rain shadow effect on the Big Island of Hawaii. Rain shadows are dry areas on the back sides of mountains. The downwind side of a mountain, the mountain creates a shadow of dryness. We've got that here on the Big Island. It's the most famous place to study this effect. You can go wet side to dry side of this island in a 60 mile drive and go from Hilo side, which is more than 120 inches of annual precipitation, that's more than 10 feet, by the way, of rain per year, up and over the saddle road to the Kona side of the island, which has less than 10 inches of rain a year. That's quite a transition. What is going on here? Here in the Pacific Northwest, we've got the same effect. Western Washington is famous for its rain, but there's a strikingly different landscape on the other side of the Cascades. Washington's the evergreen state, but half of it's ever brown. Okay, you want a rain shadow effect? You need three essential items. An ocean nearby, winds blowing steadily on shore, and a mountain range to block the traveling air mass. Here's how it works. Evaporation on the surface of the ocean creates moist air. Prevailing winds push the wet air inland until it hits the base of the mountains. The air is forced to rise, and as the air lifts, it expands and cools. Cooler air can't hold as much moisture, so clouds form, and it rains a bunch, resulting in a lush green landscape. The now dry air mass crosses the mountains and begins to sink on the leeward side of the range. It compresses and warms, promoting evaporation. Dry air warms one degree Celsius per 100 meters of elevation drop. Some of the driest places around the world exist because of the rain shadow effect. There's a rain shadow north of the Himalayas in Asia, a rain shadow west of the Great Dividing Range in Australia, a rain shadow east of the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California, and that rain shadow southwest of Mauna Kea on the Big Island of Hawaii. And here in the Pacific Northwest, we actually have two rain shadows. In winter months at higher elevations, it's not rain. Up here in the Cascades, annual snowfall is measured in tens of feet. The soaking rains on the wet side and deep mountain snows have helped shape our landscape. Sharp mountain peaks carved by glaciers and huge landslides in the lowlands, like the tragic 2014 Oso slide, where ground-saturating rains caused thick glacial deposits from the Ice Age to unexpectedly slide into the river valley below, sweeping homes away. The rain shadow effect has been a great help to geologists in the Pacific Northwest. The Cascades have cast a rain shadow on Washington's channeled scab lands, our desert landscape that has yielded so many clues about the Ice Age floods, the Columbia River basalts, and other wonders of our geologic past just like back in Hawaii. It's all out here to see Oceans, rocks, and lava The scenery Right here for you and me Two-Minute Geology